Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make a sensorless weather station using ESP32 Kaluga Development Kit and using Open Weather Map API. This simple weather station will first connect to a router to get access to the internet, and after that ESP32 periodically get the weather information of the four Indian cities, and then this data is displayed on the 3.2-inch LCD screen as shown here. Before proceeding further, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. With more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication, they are committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different different industries in terms of the quality, delivery, cost effectiveness, and any other demanding requests. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers in the world. I hope my video's viewers will visit their website once to show their offerings. Now let's get started. I will try to explain the overall flow of the project with the help of an activity diagram and the corresponding source code is shown on your screen. This is the first function that will get called when the ESP32 is powered on. Here ESP32 will try to connect with the router based on the Wi-Fi SSID and password information provided. Once this is done and the connection to the router and internet is successful, next we will initialize the open weather map module. Here we are not doing much, just updating the C structure with city names for which we wanted to receive the data. The next step is to initialize the display module, this module will create another free RTOS task to call the LVGL refresh function, and we don't have to take care of that. Now, the next step is to get the data from the open weather map website and update this on the display, this is done inside the while loop, which is our main task. And I have configured the program in such a way that every 10 seconds, I will get the data from the open weather map website, and every 5 seconds I will update the display using the display manager function, which will update the weather information on the LCD screen. Before proceeding further with the open weather map software module section, first I will show you how the displaying of the screen works. I have created this user interface in Square Line Studio software, where I have created four screens, each screen with an image widget, to show the image of the city and then eight label widgets per screen. Four of them are used to display the text, such as temperature, pressure, humidity and city name and rest four widgets are used to display the values. Technically this can be done by just using a single screen and eight labels, and instead of switching the screen, we should switch the images. Also, the use of Square Line Studio software is optional here. This user interface is really simple and can be created without using any UI design tool. After our designing is done we can export the project and add the generated files into our project, as shown and highlighted here. Make sure to also update the CMake file, so that these files are also compiled and linked with the project. Now let's see the display manager function. This display manager function is called every one second, and here we are waiting for five times, which makes the total time of five seconds. As a first step, we get the temperature, humidity and pressure data of the city, and then we will load the respective screen. After this we need to convert the data which we get from the open weather map module, as it is in integer format, and to display it on the labels, it needs to be a character array, which can be done using s and print f function, or using set text format function. So, this is how we display the data on the labels. Now, let's discuss the most important module which is the Open Weather Map Software module. You can see the activity diagram of this module. Here the first step is to define the client configuration, set the client header, and perform the HTTP client request. In the client configuration section, you have to insert your own Open Weather Map API key, otherwise the request will fail. Once the request is executed the system will wait until we get a success or failure response from the event handler function, and then depending on the success or failed response, we can print the message for our debugging, and at last we can clean up the client. This whole step is repeated every 10 seconds from the main task, and with each iteration, we are requesting another city data. Now let's see what is being done in the event handler function. Here when we receive the event ID on data, we will copy the received data into a buffer for further processing. 
and when we receive the event ID on finish, it means that the data reception is completed, and now it's time to extract the information required. I hope you have seen my previous video where I have shown how to create an account on the Open Weather Map website and how to get the data, please watch that video first to get more information. This received data is in JSON format, and the next step is to get the temperature, humidity, and pressure value from this data and store them in our global structure variables. And once this processing is done, we can reset the buffer and its index used for tracking the data. So, this is how we send the HTTP GET requests to the Open Weather Map website to get the city weather information and store them in global variables, which are used by the Display Manager module to be displayed on the LCD screen. So, that's all from my side, the complete source code is available in a GitHub repository with intensive comments, and the links are given in the description section of this video. It is impossible to explain every part of the code in a short video, but I tried my best to present the most essential and crucial parts. In case you have doubts or questions feel free to contact me either through the comment section or using an email. If you think that this video is helpful, press the like button, share this video with your colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.